These kids might push and shove, but that's how they show their love. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV cartoon siblings. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable brothers and sisters in animated television. We've excluded siblings from anime, such as the Elric brothers, because we already have a list for them. Number 10. Applejack, Apple Bloom, and Big Macintosh. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Soup, song, every pony. Friendship may be the central theme, but the bond of family always plays a key role in this TV series. The honest Applejack comes from a large extended family, but she's especially close to her little sister and big brother. Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> Wide-eyed Apple Bloom doesn't have as much worldly experience as her older sis. Nevertheless, she's still full of potential and is constantly learning crucial life lessons. As for Big Mac, he's a stallion of few words, but you'd be hard-pressed to find a more dedicated brother. Together, these three siblings run Ponyville's Sweet Apple Acres Orchard. Hardworking, strong-willed, and kind-hearted, this trio will welcome any visitor with open arms and treat them as part of the family. Both of us have been holding back when it comes to expressing ourselves, huh? Yep. Number 9. Dexter and Dee Dee. Dexter's Laboratory. And besides everything, you're a dork! These two are like acids and bases. When mixed improperly, the results can be quite explosive. Dexter is very scientific, while Dee Dee is more on the artistic side. She treats her brother's secret laboratory like a jungle gym, often destroying his experiments. To be fair, however, Dexter's massive ego typically leads to his own downfall. Dee Dee, you are fired. <laughs> Although they constantly butt heads, Dexter and Dee Dee are occasionally forced to put their heads together. When they're on the same page, these siblings can work as a unit and resolve the problem at hand. During these fleeting moments, Dexter may return his sister's affection. Of course, it never takes long for their relationship to return to the status quo. Dexter, want to see my new dance? No. It's called the Fanciful Unicorn. Number 8. Philip, Phil, and Lillian, Lil DeVille. Rugrats. I want to be like my brother Phil. <laughs> Where some of the siblings on this list are polar opposites, Phil and Lil are like two peas in a pod. These infant twins are never too far away from their group of friends, which includes brothers Tommy and Dill Pickles. When playtime is over, though, this duo takes comfort in the fact that they get to go home together. Phil and Lil share a mutual love for boogers, mud, poop, and basically everything gross. Chocolate ice cream. Their relationship isn't without some sibling rivalry, as both will occasionally bicker and compete against one another. Me! Uh -uh. Me! At the end of the day, however, Phil and Lil always realize that they make a perfect pair. I didn't know she could fly. I think it's because she's a witch. Number 7. Elvin, Simon, and Theodore. Elvin and the Chipmunks franchise. Elvin, Simon, these three chipmunks might sing together in harmony, but their personalities couldn't be more different. As the self-appointed leader of the group, Elvin stirs up mischief on a daily basis. The brainy Simon acts as a voice of reason, but he frequently goes along with Elvin's crazy schemes regardless. Well, I'll show him. I'll build more robots, better robots. The sweet yet gullible Theodore is also easily influenced, especially if food is involved. As long as we're here, we might as well eat. As is the case with many boy bands, these brothers don't always see eye to eye, and sometimes even consider breaking up. As far as we're concerned, though, the chipmunks work better as a team than as solo artists. No problem! Number 6. Meg, Chris, and Stewie Griffin. Family Guy. Morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When Peter Griffin is your father, you're bound to grow up with some serious issues. So long, farewell, a while, Peter Day. Meg might be the eldest Griffin child, but she gets zero respect from her parents or siblings. Because of this, Meg is incredibly insecure and emotionally disturbed. Hey, give me my purse, you psycho! Middle child Chris is probably the most humble member of the family, but he's not exactly the brightest bulb in the box. I don't have to listen to you. You're a dog. You don't have a soul. Stewie, on the other hand, is quite gifted for a one-year-old, although he's essentially a Bond villain in the making. Do you think we were too hard on Chris tonight? Like the other characters on Family Guy, the Griffin children are by no means role models, yet they do offer hilarious commentary on how dysfunctional families work and how they don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Number 5. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup – The Powerpuff Girls The Powerpuff Girls never lose! Most superhero teams primarily consist of guys with a token girl thrown in for good measure. The Powerpuff Girls, meanwhile, stand out as an all-female group, showing audiences everywhere that sisters are doing it for themselves. We don't need a battle robot. Ugh, we have superpowers, you know. Each girl brings something unique to the table, with Bubbles' universal cuteness, Buttercup bringing her tough tomboy attitude, and Blossom as the fearless know-it-all of a leader. Since they all have such colorful personalities, the Powerpuff Girls may fight amongst themselves from time to time. When an evildoer threatens their family, though, these siblings are sure to unite as one. Neuralnet Online and Engage! Number 4. Tina Ruth, Eugene Jean, and Louise Belcher – Bob's Burgers There's a line between entertaining and annoying. No, that's a myth! With most TV siblings, there's usually a clear fan favorite. When it comes to the Belcher kids, however, it's hard to single out just one. Ow. Watch them before you retard them! All three of them are so distinctive, making up an unforgettable cast of characters. Tina is definitely among the strangest teenage girls on television, which is only made more apparent due to her monotone, deep voice. And don't ever come here again, you hear me? My parents don't know I deliver blueberries. Jean is a classic cartoon smartass, with a booming personality and short attention span. The Belcher kids right again! For the first time! Then there's Louise, who seems innocent on the surface, but is easily the most devious member of the family. You have a cavity. A cavity? No, no, I'm not getting a filling. Hey, fill this! Whenever these kids get together, it's a recipe for hilarity and disaster. <laughs> Number 3. Charlie and Sally Brown – Peanuts Franchise What happened? You fainted, Big Brother! Since Charlie Brown is a definition of a blockhead, the other kids in school generally look down on him. His little sister is no exception. At the same time, Sally loves her big brother and often turns to him for guidance when the going gets tough. Like many little kids, Sally has the tendency to blow small things out of proportion. Even if Sally doesn't always show Charlie Brown proper respect, he remains a patient, understanding brother who is willing to offer assistance. Wake up, big brother! Like Linus and Lucy, these siblings may have their differences, but there's no denying that they care deeply about each other. You blockhead, you're gonna miss all the fun just like last year. Don't talk like that. The Great Pumpkin knows which kids have been good and which kids have been bad. Number 2. Dipper and Mabel Pines – Gravity Falls Everyone stay quiet! Oh, now you're worried about the monster. On paper, it might seem like Dipper and Mabel have nothing in common outside of having the same parents. Dipper is rational and attentive, where the carefree Mabel lives in her own little world. This is my home now, and I don't want to be saved! While their polarizing personalities can cause friction, these twins are practically inseparable nonetheless. That's largely because both perfectly balance each other out. Dipper uses deductive reasoning to try and unravel the many mysteries of Gravity Falls, while Mabel is willing to take a leap of faith. Mabel, are you crazy? We're all gonna... What? No! While her rash decision-making can lead to catastrophe, Mabel proves that sometimes we need to trust in our emotions over logic. With Dipper's brain and Mabel's heart, the Pines make an unstoppable team. Morning, Dipper! Guess who? Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You're not human! Bingo! Yeah, we're dealing with a real mind here. Don't worry, Candace. We'll help you get it back. You guys would help me bust you? Sure, if it'll make you happy. Plus battling a giant robot. See anybody? No. Oh, I see you. Yeah, I see you too, Greg. Number one, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie Simpson. The Simpsons. Stop fighting with your sister! She took my glue! If you were a rebellious troublemaker growing up, Bart Simpson was probably your idol. If you were a gifted student with big dreams, chances are you related to Lisa Simpson. If you had a comfort object like a pacifier, there's little doubt that Maggie Simpson spoke to you. Uh, did you hear that? She said burlap! If you were an only child, you definitely wanted a sibling after watching The Simpsons. The three Simpson children are all identifiable characters that stem from a surprisingly realistic family. The relationship between Bart and Lisa is especially poignant. While they've had their fair share of arguments, these two can confide in one another during hard times and always have each other's backs. They're not just siblings, but friends for life. Guess I sort of ruined your babysitting business. Yeah, well, that's okay. I can always sell seeds. Do you want some seeds? 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.